was asked to produce nine short videos answering nine specific questions about Oneness Pentecostalism for a documentary about Oneness Pentecostalism. The first question I was asked was, what would you say to those who doubt your salvation? Well, I would quote the words of the Apostle John in 1 John 4.13. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us because he has given us his spirit. So I know that I have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, because I have his spirit inside of me. Like I said in the past video, I, when I received the baptism infilling gift of the Holy Spirit, just like on the day of Pentecost in Acts 2, 1 through 4, I felt like fire in my chest. I felt like fire on my head. I felt this tingling, anointed spirit inside of me and all over my body. It was so powerful. And since then, I gave up the rock and roll music, the, the secular, softer rock and roll music, before I gave up the ACDC and all those hard rock bands back in the 80s. And I started listening to more mellow rock and roll. But I couldn't seem to get rid of the rock and roll. But once I got baptized in the Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Spirit, it was easy to give up rock and roll. It was easy to go that, that extra mile and be able to put away everything that displeased God. And it was easy to pray for hours on end. I built up to an hour in prayer, and it became easy. When I was a Southern Baptist, I couldn't pray that long. I couldn't think of another thing to pray for. Because the anointing that I received of Him, the Holy Spirit that I have received of Him, enables me to pray, enables me to witness, enables me to memorize Scripture, and gives me anointing so I can properly, rightly divide the Word of Truth. For what man knows the things of a man except the Spirit of a man is in him? So likewise, no man knows the things of God except God be in him to reveal it to him. So the Spirit of God unveils the truth and reveals the truth of Scripture so that I don't need to have any man teach me because the Holy Spirit is my teacher. Christ in me is the Spirit of truth. 2 Corinthians 3.17 says the Lord is the Spirit. So anyone who would doubt my salvation, well, you're wrong. Because I am saved by grace through faith, not a work, works that I should boast about, but by the grace of God. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works. And how, are we be, how do we become God's workmanship? We get baptized in Jesus' name. Baptism is not a work. Colossians 2 says, verse 12 says, We are buried with him in baptism, wherein also we are risen with him, with Jesus in baptism, through the faith of the working of God. Baptism is not the working of men. If anybody is working, it's the pastor or his designee that baptizes you. You submit to baptism. Can you say when you put your shirt on in the morning, you put on a baptismal garment, that you're working? That's not working. The Greek word for work means toiling. That's not the context of works. Works is talking about the works of the law and, and doing things. If you want to say work is doing anything, if you say this in his prayer, I confess you as my Lord and Savior, I accept you in my heart, you're doing something, okay? So that's you could consider that a work too then. What a baptism is not a work. And when we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, the Bible says it's a gift. You receive it by faith. Whatever we believe for God, we, we have to accept it by faith. So we believe that we receive it and we shall have it. So being born of the water and spirit is not working for your salvation. So those who doubt my salvation, all I can say is, uh, I know that I know that I know in my knower that I have the Spirit of God and I've been saved by grace through faith through the blood of Jesus Christ by believing in His name, having faith in His name, by being water baptized, buried with Him in baptism, where I'm risen with Him, identifying with the death, the burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, which is the gospel in a nutshell. You read Romans chapter 6, verses 1-7, through where baptizing was death, that we might also be in the likeness of His resurrection. If we're not baptized into Jesus Christ's death, then we're not baptized in order to be risen with Christ into the likeness of his resurrection. And how are we going to be saved if we're not baptized into Christ's death, burial, and resurrection? God bless you all in Jesus' name.